Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to apply comparison date ranges in Looker Studio. So you want to compare the dates in Looker Studio. How can you do that? Before we go straight to the point, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create the content. So thank you very much in advance. And let's get started. Now in Looker Studio, you can't pull the Google Analytics trick meaning you cannot just simply open your date range and then hit compare anywhere here what you have to do is to manually apply comparison date ranges in your different scorecards charts tables and so forth how can we do this so let's say we have this scorecard here right we're going to select it we are going to go under the setup column on the right hand side and we are going to scroll down the comparison date range and we are going to toggle this button on the comparison date range. And here we're going to open the drop down menu and we have several options. The first option is to fix the comparison dates. So I want to compare with a fixed date in the past. I don't recommend you to do that because it's not very practical. What I, re I recommend you to do is to click here on the drop down menu and say previous period and then hit apply. So what does this mean? It means we are looking now at 1st of January to 8th of January, 2025. We are comparing with the previous eight days, right? So that's the way to add comparison date ranges for scorecards. You can do this in bulk, meaning you can grab all your scorecards. You can toggle here the comparison date range for all of them. And then you can click the drop down menu. You can say previous period or previous year. So what does previous year mean? Previous year means that here we are looking at 1st of January to 8th of January, 2025. If you say previous year, you compare with 1st of January to 8th of January, 2024. And this is practical because if you come here and you change the dates, for example, you say, let's say uh, last 14 days. So we have a different date range. You see here that the comparison automatically refreshes right so whatever i select here so let's actually switch to previous period for example and then if i come here and i change the the date range to last seven dates my comparison it will automatically actually refresh also here right so that's why it is always better to not really fix the comparison date range but select previous year or previous period now let's say you want to do the same thing but for a different visualization so let's say a chart now here we have a column chart and this column chart shows the sessions by by date and let's say we want to compare with the previous period right now what you're going to realize very quickly here is that if you have a column chart you won't really be able to see this comparison date range button here right because this type of visualization is not suitable for comparing different date ranges. If you want to do that, you need to change the visualization. We're going to click here to reveal the chart and we're going to select time series chart. So now with a time series, we have a line representing the sessions over time. And with a time series chart, now you see the comparison date range. We're going to toggle this on and let's select, for example, previous period. And now you see that the dark blue line represents these seven days for example in february and the light blue line represents the previous seven days and if we actually select here previous year you will see that the dark blue line represents the sessions this year the light blue line here represents the session in the previous year now obviously we cannot have comparisons in pie charts where else can we use date comparisons we can use them in tables right so for example let's say here we have a table and we have sessions let's say that we have also maybe add another metric total users and we have a table and it doesn't matter if the dimension is date or something different well, i'll show you two examples what matters here is that again i go on the right hand side under the setup column I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to find comparison date range, I'm going to toggle this on, and I'm going to say here, let's say previous period. And now you see that 
on the table, we have this delta column basically here, right? So this delta column is going to compare with the previous period. Now, obviously, with a dimension that is a date, this is not going to work. But if we have here, let's say, a dimension that is maybe channel. So let's select, for example, session default channel group. Then you see the delta column here populating. So it compares, for example, the sessions from organic sets with the previous period, the sessions from total users, let's say, with the previous period, and so forth. Now, to answer some frequently asked questions, I would say here, can you compare with two different date ranges in a table? Can you compare with two different date ranges in, let's say, a time series chart? Can you compare with two different date ranges in a scorecard? You cannot technically compare with two different date ranges in any visualization in Looker Studio. You can only compare with one date range at a time. There are some hacks actually with scorecards. I have a video with a little hack actually that I'm going to put in the description below on how you can compare with two date ranges with scorecards. But technically speaking, you cannot use a comparison with two different date ranges, right? So you can only compare with one different date range. So that's it. That's how you can use date range comparisons in Looker Studio. Remember that you have to select your scorecards, your time series charts, your tables, and you have to toggle on the comparison date range, and you have to select either previous period, previous year, or there are a couple more options, right? So you can go with a fixed comparison, or you can play with the advanced comparison if you want, let's say, to compare with maybe the the previous 15 days or something, let's say, unique to your business needs. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day in any time zone. Bye, everyone.